Hey guys, David Huffaker here, licensed broker and team leader for the Huffaker Group of Keller Williams Realty. It is August 2017. We hope you've had a wonderful summer. We're noticing kids starting to go back to school. People are starting to wrap up from family vacations. So can't believe it's already that time. Have had a lot of questions this summer, as hot as the Middle Tennessee market is, about real estate investing. So I want to take a moment with you today and go over just some basic rules of thumbs when, in, when investigating real estate investing. Before that, please take a look around our website. Uh, if you're looking to make a move, please click here for a full home search. This includes all homes currently active in the MLS and is updated every 15 minutes. It also includes open houses and homes that are already under contract. Also, if you're looking to sell your home, please click here for a full home evaluation. All right, guys, welcome back. I want to take just a couple of minutes and talk to you about real estate investing. Real estate investing can be very complex, but it can also be very simple if you've got a good realtor working with you. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a new time investor, please reach out to the Huffaker Group. Let us help guide you through that process and be your eyes and ears for properties that are coming up. So with real estate investing, there are so many properties out there. People say now is a good time to invest. Uh, it's always a good time to invest as long as the property meets the criteria that you're looking for. So I just want to go over some quick general rules for you today on real estate investing. I was reading a recent article this, this week from Afford Anything on, uh, on the internet and they came up with a couple of just key topics that investors use. So I want to go over those with you real quick. The first thing is going to be the gross rent multiplier. So when we're looking for homes, we really want to uh, deny first and then scrutinize second. So there's going to be hundreds of homes for you to go through. This will help you kind of weed out what is what what can be rented, what can be rented for, for a good price. So real quick, the gross rent multiplier, you just take the total price plus the repairs and we're going to divide them by the gross monthly rents. So what does that mean? Let's say that you buy a home for $200,000. You want to find somewhere around a $2,000 a month rent. That's going to give you about a hundred month supply in order for how long does it take to pay that home off, right? So a hundred months is kind of what investors use as the, the kind of caveat number that you're looking for, a hundred months or less. You want to get that property paid off as quickly as possible. And that gross rents multiplier is going to be able to help you calculate that rather quickly without doing a whole lot of scrutinizing of the property that doesn't meet that criteria. The second thing conversely is the 1% rule. You'll hear a lot of investors talk about does the house meet the 1% rule? And the 1% rule is really just the GRN in reverse, right? So you're looking at the gross monthly rents divided by the per purchase price and repairs. So what does that mean? Let's say again that we're looking for a home and it can rent for $2,000, a $200,000 purchase price. If you look at that, that would be 1% a month that the home will be making off the initial investment. And that would, that would kind of be a, a filter that we would use in order to qualify, is this a house we want to investigate more? Guys, investing can be uh, very complex, but with a good realtor by your side, it can also be super easy and very profitable for you. We hope that you'll trust us here at the Huffaker Group. The next time that you're thinking about investing for properties, call us 615-208-3285 or stop by our office for a free copy of the Millionaire Real Estate Investor from Gary Keller. Talk to you soon.